Hey, Andrew. Hey. Um, what? it's Andrew Marveloso the Grantini. Andrew Marveloso the Grantini. Yes. I'm a magician. Oh, oh a magician. I get it. Okay, yes. okay. You got, you got your wand, fancy bow tie. And In fact, I've been practicing a trick. Okay. You want to see us. it? Yeah, I love right, it. I love ready? it. Okay. Uh, Bracadabra. Okay. Pokey pokey. Uh, I don't remember the words, but make it work. Ah! Whoa, that's really like... For you, my lady. Oh, thank you. I always wanted a fake fern. You know what they say. What? Because a fern's a fern forever. <laughs> right? Isn't that what they say? I think it's a friend's a friend forever, but I'll take a fern's a fern forever. Thank you. I thought that was the song put out by Michael W. Jiff. He was a botanist. <laughs> No? I have no idea. Oh, well. Here's what I do know, though, is we got people Watch in this. The I'm going to make a... Boo! I made people's Hi, names appear. Oh. oh! Yeah. Why are you dressed like a magician? Because I... I was giving something very special. Okay. And what's that? It's magic paper. Magic paper, whatever. It's paper that talks. It'll it'll make all kinds of noises if if I tell it to and I tap it with my magic wand, uh -huh. it will make whatever noises I want it to make. Okay, let's check out this m magical paper. Watch mm. this. This is it right here. To the untrained eye, like yours. Okay. This appears to be just a normal piece of paper. Mm -hmm. But to my skillful magicery, it is a magical paper. Okay. Look, I can make it whistle. Agbertadabra, don't step on a thistle. Make this paper start to whistle. Wow, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's like magical. I told you. Is there, is there a whistler hidden there or nope. something? Nope, there's not a whistler hidden on the... T um, do you want to hear some more stuff? Yeah, okay. Okay, you're going to have to put it up to your ear. Like, kind of like, hold on, like, maybe like this. Oh, like you got to listen really close. Okay, all right. Okay? <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, all right. Let's see. What you, I'm going to make it make the sound of crunching potato chips. Okay. Ready? Okay. Abracadabra. Mm -hmm. No sour cream and onion dip. Make the sound of a crunching chip. <gasps> the paper sounds like chips crunching. Doesn't that, it? It's amazing, isn't that it? That is so cool. I... Okay. Hold on. What else do you want to hear? Um, I don't know. Surprise me. Okay. Let's, let's see if I can guess. Abracadabra. Uh-huh. Magic prepper. Uh -huh. Make the sound of Dr. Pepper. That sounded just like a can of pop opening. I love Dr. Mm. Pepper. I think, I know it's oh, that, mm. it kind of smells like it too. It How does? do you do that? This is magic paper and I'm a magician. That's so cool. Let me make sure. Are you sure there's no Dr. Pepper in here? All right. What All right. else you got? Let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Uh, I haven't worked on this spell very well, but I'm going to try my best, okay? Okay. 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 Abracadabra. Uh-huh. Roller rinker. Uh-huh. Make the sound of a... Uh. <gasps> oh. Did you just make a stinker? It's the paper. It's not me. Oh, oh, right. Whew, that was close. I thought it was going to be a stinky stinker. Well, I've only got one more spell. Okay. 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 Be very, very careful on this one. Okay, I'm going to be... Is it going to hurt my ears? It's not going to hurt no, you. No, I don't like I don't like my ears to hurt. I know. I know. Okay. And uh, this one, you'll be fine. Okay. okay. All right. I'm really listening. I got the okay. paper right up to my ears right, so I can right hear Right to your ear? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Abracadabra. Uh huh. We'll still be friend, even though I will scare Jen. <laughs> what was that? It was magical. It smells magical. I told you. Yeah. What? This is magical paper right here. I. I don't know. It's. What's that can of Dr. Pepper doing right there? Pay no attention to the can of Dr. Pepper behind the magic paper. Whoop, you forgot it. <laughs> Did that work? No. Oh. Did you take one of my cans of Dr. Pepper? 
Take is a very strong word. <laughs> what? Took one of my keys, Dr. Pepper. Listen, a magician gets thirsty in his quest for magician Marie. Oh. Well, your paper wasn't very magic then. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I did the roller rinker and the chips uh -huh. and the prepper and the whistler. Yeah, but I can see the Dr. Pepper can. That was there from before. Maybe. I don't think your paper is as special as you think your paper is. I just wanted to have cool paper. Well, it can be cool. We can do all sorts of things. You know, like make a top hat or a magic wand or a bow. You can do all kinds of stuff with paper. But it wasn't magic. So I'm not going to be anything like Kodo-san? Who's Kodo-san? Kodo-san, the kid from our story today... Oh, I remember you saying something about a kid. Okay, Kodo-san. Okay. So we're in Japan Ooh, today. Japan. And we I've are... been there. Yeah? Yeah, like I, I mean, I did. I flew in and I had to stay the night and then I got on another flight and then I came back and I flew through. Yeah, I've been to Japan twice. Were your arms exhausted? They were so tired. Yeah, I'll bet. Flew all the way into mm -hmm. Japan. Yeah. So we're going to learn about Kodo-san. Kodo-san, okay. And Kodo-san was a little girl that lived in Japan. Uh-huh. And she lived in a house that had magic wallpaper. Okay, we just talked about the paper. It was not magic. There were Hey! Who's telling the story? Okay, go ahead. I am Andrew the Magnificent. Okay, you are. Grantini. That's me. Thank okay. You. So I'm gonna tell the story. Okay. okay. You tell the story, the kids will listen because we're gonna ask three the, questions at the end. Right, right. And then maybe three. I might turn those three into doves and make them fly away. I haven't decided yet. Okay, well, we'll just see what happens. So go ahead and tell us about what was your name again? Kodosan and the Magical Talking Wallpaper. Kodosan and the Magical Talking Wallpaper. Okay, go for it. I'm ready. Was there a magic word? I oh, please. Thank you. <sighs> you have to say magic words. All right. Early one morning, uh -huh. Kodosan was sitting at the table oh, with her right. grandmother. Okay. Kodosan was a little girl who lived in Japan. And in Japan, mm -hmm. the house that they lived in, the mm -hmm. walls were very, very thin. Oh. And it was getting time to be winter. Oh. Grandmother said, oh, Kodosan, I wish that we could afford some wallpaper for these walls. It would help keep the cold out. If okay. only we could do that, but I don't have very much money. Oh. Kodosan said, well, Grandmother, maybe... Maybe we could, maybe we could find paper or maybe, maybe someone would give us paper and we could, we could cover our walls and our doors so that it wouldn't be so cold. Okay. Grandmother said, oh, Koto-san, I don't think that's going to work. Oh. But don't you worry about it. I'll see what I can do. Okay. okay. Let's get you ready for school. Oh, school. Koto-san loved going to school. Uh-huh. She went to a very special school. Uh -huh. It was a school where boys and girls went and they were taught by a missionary. Oh, we know what missionaries are. Right. Missionaries yeah. are people who go someplace or where they live and they uh -huh. tell others about Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they would go and Kodosan would go to this missionary school. Okay. And they would teach her how to read and how to write. And Kodosan's That's grandmother, so cool. she was very nervous about this because what? she didn't want Kodosan to believe in their God. She didn't want oh. her to hear uh, the words from the book that they called the Bible. Oh, she, what? See, Kodosan's grandmother didn't believe in that. Oh. She believed in a lot of different things, but she didn't believe in the one true God. Oh, how sad. Kodosan said, okay, grandmother, let's get ready and we'll go to school. Uh-huh. Kodosan packed her backpack. Okay. She got everything ready and she oh. headed off to school. Yeah, okay. She had her lunch that had a little bit of rice in it and oh. some crackers. Okay. And, and and grandmother walked her to school. Oh. As Kodo-san got ready to go and she let go of her grandmother's hand, uh -huh. she turned around and her grandmother said, Kodo-san, don't listen to the words from that book. Oh. You know that you are not to do that. Oh. Oh. Kodo-san said, I, I know that's what you say, grandmother. I've heard it. Yeah. And she ran into the school building. Oh. You see, Kodosan had heard the truth of the Bible. What? In fact, Kodosan had heard that Jesus loved her very much and that he died on the cross for her sins. Uh -huh. And Kodosan had believed in Jesus and asked him to forgive her sins. Yes! She wanted to tell her grandmother so badly uh -huh. about Jesus and how much he loved her. 
but she was afraid that if she oh. did, grandmother would tell her she couldn't go to the school anymore. Oh no, that's not good. Every day, Kodo-san prayed, Lord Jesus, please, uh -huh. somehow, will you, will you help grandmother to hear the truth oh, about good. Jesus? That's real good, yeah. Well, grandmother watched Kodo-san run into the building uh -huh. and she went to the market. Okay. While she was there, she went to the shop that had the paper that you could put on the walls. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she began to look at it. Mm -hmm. She looked down in the small purse that she was carrying, yeah. and she saw the few coins that she had. Uh -huh. And she thought, I don't have enough money for this paper. Oh, no. Not even for the very plain paper. Oh. It will be a very cold winter without the paste and the paper on the walls. Oh, oh that... Grandmother was sad, and she started to walk home. Uh-huh. On her way home, as she passed someone's house, uh -huh. she looked over, and she saw a box Ooh. in the very front of their yard. Okay. Grandmother looked at the box and began to look around, uh -huh. and while she looked around, she didn't see anybody. Oh, okay. She went over. Uh-huh. She bent down very quietly. Okay. And she opened the box. Oh, she opened the box. Well, what was in it? Inside the box. Uh-huh were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of paper. Oh, I thought you were going to say spiders. Okay, paper. Good. Paper. Spiders? Yeah, I don't know. Why would you think that? It's a box. I was just sitting there. I was nervous. Okay. Kodo-san, her grandmother, she said, look at all these papers. I could use this. We could put two layers even on our whole house. Oh. This would keep us so warm. Yeah. I wonder if they belong to someone else. Okay. Kodo-san's grandmother began to look around. Uh-huh. She didn't see anyone looking. Oh. And so she reached down and picked up the box. Uh-huh. And she hid it inside her kimono, the robe that she wore. Kimono. Okay. So By the time that Kodo-san got home from, from school, uh -huh. grandmother had made paste and had started putting words up on the wall. Oh, wow. And covering the walls with paper. Yeah, yeah. Kodo-san came in and she said, Grandmother, you were able to buy paper. Grandmother said, oh. um, well, I got paper. Yes, I, I got us some paper. Okay. She didn't tell her that she had taken it. Kodo-san began to look at the paper. Uh-huh. And she began to notice something. What? At first, she couldn't believe her eyes. Wh what? She said, Grandmother, where did you get this paper? Grandmother said, oh, I, I just got it. I got it from on my way back from taking you to school. I got it there. Uh-huh. Grandmother, Grandmother, do you know what these words say? No, but I think they're beautiful. They are beautiful looking words. Aren't they so nice? Help me. Help me paste them up. Kodo-san had been going to school and she had learned how to read. Yeah, we... But Grandmother didn't know how. Oh. Kodo-san began to look. Uh -huh. At the words on the paper. Uh-huh. And she recognized them. What did they say? They were the words from the Bible. <gasps> what? They began to tell the story of how God had created everything and how he loved us very much, oh. so much, that he sent his son Jesus. Wow. Kodosan couldn't believe it. All around her and all around her grandmother were the words that told wow. the truth of Jesus' love. Wow. Many days went by, uh -huh. and every morning, Kodo-san and her grandmother would uh -huh. stop, and they would have breakfast together. Oh, breakfast with tea and uh -huh. some small cakes. Uh -huh. And one morning, Kodo-san said to grandmother, What'd she say? Grandmother, did you know that the wallpaper talks? What? We've already talked about this. A paper that talks. Grandmother looked at Kodo-san and thought, Oh, child, are you sick? She reached over and she felt her forehead. And she said, are you sick? She looked in her ears and she opened her eyes and she said, no, I don't think you're sick. But Kodo-san, papers do not talk. <laughs> it's like silly. Kodo-san said, grandmother, these papers do talk. What? They tell a wonderful story. Would you like to hear what the papers say? Oh, what'd she say? What'd she say? Grandmother looked at the papers. She said, all of this time we've been sitting here and, and the papers have told us a story? Yes. Wow. Come, look look with me at this paper. Okay. Kodosan took her grandmother by the hand and walked her over to the wall by the window. Uh -huh. And she said, right here, this paper right here, you know what it says? What? Grandmother leaned down and put her ear against the paper and said, uh -huh. I don't hear anything. Oh, yeah. She said, grandmother, it says in the words on the paper, 
that the great God, the one true God who lives in heaven, made everything in this earth, the trees and the fish and the birds and the sky, and he made you and he made me. Oh, wow. Kodosan was nervous because what if grandmother was angry? Would she yeah. tear down the papers and would she, oh. would she tell her that she couldn't go to the school anymore? Oh. Kodosan looked at her grandmother who got uh -huh. a big smile on her face. Oh. She said, that is wonderful. I didn't know all this time that the paper could talk. Kodosan, you go to school and learn more of the words. And then you can come back and you can tell me more of what our paper says. Wow. Every morning, Kodosan and her grandmother would sit down for tea. And every morning, Kodosan would read some of the words to her grandmother. So cool. She would read to her about how God had made man and woman. And because of their own ways, they wanted to do their own things. They had done something called sin. Oh. Kodosan looked at grandmother and said, Grandmother, they went against God's law. Oh. Grandmother said, Oh no. Did they have to be punished? Kodosan said, Yes, grandmother, someone had to be punished for sin. Oh. But because God, the creator who loved us so much, uh -huh. he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to take our punishment. Uh -huh. And he died on the cross for our sins. Yeah. Grandmother looked at Kodosan and said, Oh, Kodosan, that is a beautiful story. I wish that it was true. Yeah. Well, but but it is true, Grandma. Trust me, it's true. Oh, you are you are just a child. Oh. Go to school and I will see you when you get home. Oh, okay. That day Kodosan went to school. And all day she prayed, dear Jesus, please, please help grandma to see the truth that the words of the Bible are true and that you love her very much. Yes. All morning, grandmother didn't feel right. Uh, well, there was something inside of her that she knew she had done something wrong. Oh. Grandmother thought about that day where she had taken the box of papers oh, right. when she had stolen them. Grandmother put her hair up and put on her special kimono uh -huh. and went outside and began to walk to the house. As grandmother got to the house, she knocked on the door. Okay. What would the people do? Uh -huh. Would 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 they make her go to jail? Oh. Would would they would they tell her turn her into the police? Would they would they yell at her? Uh -huh. What? Grandmother waited. Yeah. And then she heard the door opening. Uh huh. Standing inside of the door was someone that grandmother had never seen before anyone like them oh it was a woman with yellow hair oh. the color of straw oh. and she had blue eyes oh. the woman said come in come in grandmother said i need to tell you that i took the papers yeah. from your yard okay. that i took the box and i want to know is the is the story true is the story that god loves me even though i did bad that god still loves me is it true uh. The woman went and got her Bible. Oh, okay. She opened it up and she said, it is true. In fact, my husband teaches at a school down the road. Uh -huh. And he teaches from this book, the Bible. And he wants you and he wants the people of this community to know that Jesus loves you very much. Yes. She opened the Bible to John uh -huh. chapter 3 and okay. she read where God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son, okay. that whoever would believe in him yeah. would not die, but have everlasting life with yeah. him in heaven. Grandmother immediately looked at the book and tears started to come down her face. Yeah. She yeah. sat down on the couch uh -huh. and she fell to her knees. She okay. began to cry and say, I didn't believe that it was true. How could God love me? I stole from you. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. The woman knelt down next to grandmother and uh -huh. put her arm around her and said, I forgive you. And if you'll ask, Jesus will forgive you. Uh -huh. And he promises that he loves you very much. Yeah. And he tells us all about that here in this Bible. Wow. Do you, do you want a copy of the Bible? What? Grandmother said, you're not going to believe this, but I've been surrounded by the Bible, the words of life. Uh -huh. For many, many weeks. Wow. I took that book and, and, and that box of papers and I put them on our wall because where we live, we don't have much money and, oh. and it would help keep us warm during okay. the cold weather. The woman smiled and said, 
did you know that the whole time that the wallpaper around you has been telling you the story of Jesus what? and that he loves you very much? Grandmother said, my granddaughter told me the same thing. Yeah. Kodosan said that Jesus loves me too. Your granddaughter is Kodosan? Yes, I know Kodosan. She believes in the words of life. She knows the truth about Jesus. You're the grandma. We've been praying for you that you would know the truth. Oh, yes. Grandmother couldn't believe it. She hugged this woman that uh -huh. looked like someone she'd never seen before. Yeah. And she said, I can't wait to go home. I need to go home and tell Kodosan the good news. Uh -huh. That afternoon, Kodosan got home from school. Uh -huh. Grandmother called her in and said, Kodosan, come and sit with me. Oh, shoot. I went and talked to the missionary oh. today. The missionary told me that she knew you, Kodosan. Uh -huh. Kodosan thought, this is it. Grandmother's not going to let me go back to the school again. Oh. And then a big smile came across Grandmother's face. Oh. She said, Kodosan, uh -huh. I believe the words of the wallpaper. Yes. It has spoken to me too. Wow. And I know that Jesus loves me. Uh -huh. And I trust him. So Kodosan, now... Go, hurry, visit everyone in our street. Uh -huh. Knock on their doors and tell them to come in here and see. And they will come and visit and I will make tea. And you will read to them the words from the wall and let the wallpaper speak and tell them the truth so about cool. Jesus. Yes. Grandmother smiled as Kodosan uh -huh. ran out the front door singing, yeah. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I know that song. That is so cool. Grandmother and Kodasan used wallpaper to tell others about Jesus. Well, see, I didn't really believe you that wallpaper could talk or anything because, like, your magic paper. Very magical. It, it didn't have any power. It doesn't. It's blank. Oh. It's just a blank piece of paper. Yeah. You were just, like, pretending. I was just being silly. Oh, but, but you know what's not pretend? What? The words found in the Bible. That's so true. God God made it that many different people would write the Bible and it would all work together to tell the story about how much God loves us and, and wants Jesus to be our Savior, to be He wants to forgive our sins. Right. The whole Bible right. is all about that and Absolutely. how much God loves us. Absolutely. That that's crazy. What what a neat story. Absolutely. How cool was it that the wallpaper told the story and that God answers Kodosan's prayer. Yeah. I mean, she's just a little girl. Yeah. I mean, sure, like, God doesn't listen to people when they pray, right? No, he always listens when we pray. Always? Always. Oh, doesn't even little I, kids? As, ev everybody. Even, even really old people? Everybody. That's so cool. And you know what? God listens even if we're not at church. What? Or he listens even if we're praying while we're driving. But keep your eyes open. Oh, okay. God listens if we're on the playground or oh. we're at the swimming pool. Okay. Or if we're alone at night. Oh, yeah. Sometimes and it's I... sometimes scary. Yeah. God listens and he hears when we <sighs> pray. I just think that's so cool. Our God is so cool. He is cool. He's a very cool God. He's way cooler than Andrew the Magnificent. Grandini something? Grandini. Whatever you were. I think you're cool, but yeah. God's way cooler than anything. It was fun, though, to try that, you know. It was. Even though you drink my Dr. Pepper. It was for the children. Oh, okay. Speaking of for the children. Oh, okay. It, the questions aren't just for the children. Right, they're for they're, all of us. Yeah, anybody, yes. any age. Yep, right. okay. So, question number one. Okay. Are you ready? In what country do, does Kodosan and her grandmother live? Right. What country? Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Question number two. Okay. What did grandmother hope to buy at the market? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, and question number three. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. Ooh, a tough one? Mm-hmm. Okay. How did the wallpaper talk? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because it did. It told... Well, yeah, sorry. How did it talk? Mm -hmm. We, right. we got to leave it at that. Okay. We'll leave it at that. So, do you have, like, a picture challenge for us or something? I do have a picture okay, challenge. Okay, great. What is it? Okay, so... In the very beginning of this, uh -huh. I turned uh, uh -huh. something into flowers. I made, I did magic. You did, yeah, magic. Or not. <laughs> okay, 
Well, what I want you to do okay. is I want you to find something mm -hmm. that you can turn from one thing into another and take a picture of it. Oh, like like, so, like, like what? What do you so mean? So like you could turn a blanket into a blanket fort. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Or you could turn Legos into something that you built. Oh, that's a neat, yeah. Or you could turn flour and sugar and eggs and vanilla and chocolate chips and butter cookies. into chocolate chip cookies. I love cookies. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Or what about Play-Doh? You could turn Play-Doh mm -hmm. into something. Okay, okay. Or you could turn so, a blank piece of paper into a picture. Oh, that's neat too. And take a picture okay. of that and put it in the comments section. Okay, and All then right. they'll get put into the prize basket. Right, and you'll get put in the prize basket because we have one more story this month before yep. we draw. We'll draw at the, at the end of next story. Yeah, so, right? I think. I'm all confused. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 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 It'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. So we want you to remember two things. Uh-huh. Three things. Three. Oh. Oh. Well, number one. Uh-huh. I am the great Andrew the Magnificent Grantini. Okay. Okay. We don't remember. Don't remember that. Oh, okay. Number one. Uh-huh. Jesus loves you. And we love you too. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.